Perfect. My friends back again with another video today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do something very simple in after effects But at the same time the way that I show you how to do this in the final outcome is gonna give you guys some valuable tools And creating some really really cool effects in the future as well as this is something that you can customize a lot and change around a lot So I feel like this actually has a lot of value So anyways if you guys are new here subscribe if you guys enjoy the content Please leave a like helps the growth of this channel a huge amount without any more talking Let's get right into this tutorial So I'm gonna bring these clips into after effects So I'm going to replace with after effects composition in premiere or as always if you guys only have after effects you can just start in after effects okay so we have our footage in after effects the better setup footage you have the easier it's going to be able to do this in post so footage like this is extremely easy to use to pull off this effect looking into somebody's face like this not having too much camera shakiness not having too much darkness super super useful so what we're going to do i'm going to hold down Control alt and just zoom in with my mouse wheel i'm going to go up here to my toolbar and i'm going to select this pen tool or click g and I'm just going to draw a pattern around this eye. If you guys watch my video about the best ways to mask, you guys will get some tips on how to make these joints bend right here so you can get a better pattern. And then we're just gonna connect it at the end just like that. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna click on my footage and then just click M. So that is opening up our mask options. And within here, you can see it says add. You can change it to subtract. You can change it to intersect. We're gonna change it to subtract just like that. Make sure you guys remember that because I think that's one of the biggest problems I found that a lot of you guys were having trouble with in the past with a Lot of masking stuff make sure you're using the right blending mode whenever you create that mask or it's just going to be messing up the entire thing so we have it on subtract what we're going to do is i'm just going to open up these mask settings right here and i'm just going to bump up the feather a tiny bit maybe up to nine pixels so what you just saw me do is i kind of smoothed out these edges right here here's zero and then I'm gonna bump that up, like I said, to nine, just to make it a little more blended, a little more natural. Now, all we have to do is actually track the motion of this, because if you see, if I move here, it's not gonna stick. So pretty simple to do this. Let's just go to our starting position, right click on this mask right here and click track mask. So you're gonna see this little window pop up right here called the tracker, and you're gonna see that it says method pos position scale rotation. We're gonna leave it on that, and we're just gonna click this play button right here. So what you're gonna see is the computer is going to track all of the motion of this, and then the mask is going to create its own keyframes to actually stick to that position and then when this is completely through we'll be able to scrub through and you guys will see that i will be cut out throughout the entire video okay so like i said i'm gonna scrub through and you see that this actually did a pretty good job at tracking the mask if you guys ever need to adjust any of that you can go through and adjust any of these keyframes or you could just delete the keyframes and then try and move around the mask and then retrack but this actually turned out pretty good so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna do the same thing to this eye so i'm gonna create a second mask just by clicking with my pen tool and I'm just gonna draw around the general shape here. And then I'm going to select subtract on the blending mode for that as well. I'm gonna open up the settings and I'm gonna make that feather nine pixels so it blends in as well. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click on mask two. I'm gonna select track mask and I'm going to click play again. Okay, so we have both of the eyes properly masked out now, and it looks like this. Um, if you're seeing it, it's black, you might just have to click on this little button right here to show the transparency grid. So we've done all the hard work, now all we need to do is just place something underneath here to be able to get that static or whatever kind of visual you want to place beneath this. So right now I'm going to link you guys to my website down below. You'll be able to find a bunch of free resource packs, whether it's VHS packs, which are going to give you that broken static, overlays you can use, green screen packs, trippy visual packs, a bunch of other free cool stuff that you guys can use within your videos you can download it for free on my website down below www.mediamonopoly.co once you've done that downloaded it you can just bring it into your project right here so i'm actually just going to use a third-party vhs plugin um, called universe vhs and i'm going to select blank tape and just make this original so that is how i got that look right here and of course if you guys do not have red giant universe you could always just download my free vhs overlay pack and then find one that has static that you actually like throw that into your project is it underneath the layer which we masked out Make sure you guys are doing that. So here's what this looks like just with things from my VHS pack, as you can see. Looks pretty cool, pretty similar. We can apply in a trippy visual from my trippy visual pack. However you wanna customize this, like I said, this is a very simple tutorial. Just using some basic mask tracking, which you guys should know in After Effects, super helpful, as well as a tiny bit of masking. And like I said, if you guys are having trouble getting the masks to actually work based off your footage, make sure you guys just open it up and change any of these mask paths and make any adjustments. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see next from me. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys.